Hey guys, what's happening? I'm Tom Stokes. You're watching Sports Plus from Dallas, Texas. Actually, we're in Arlington at the studio, uh, 1010 Collins Street, right in Arlington, Texas. Uh, we're right across the street. I can see it from here. Uh, AT&T Stadium, home of the five-time world champion Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Uh, this whole uh, Jeremy Piven, uh, the uh, Jeremy Piven, and uh, what's her name? Arian, Ar Arian, Ari, Arian, Arian Bel Belomar, Arian Belomar, Arian Belomar, which is really Arian Patterson slash Slot slash Jones slash. Like she's got tw this woman's got twenty three aliases. I mean, I'm surprised she can remember her last name, much less me. Okay, so uh, besides twenty three aliases, she's uh, lived at uh, like thirty different places. In the last um, probably three or four years, I can put my uh, eye, eyeballs on, okay? Um, and she's uh, had over 30 phone numbers in the last two or three years. Like, this woman is bad. There's nothing good about this woman at all, okay? I mean, like, very vile, very, very bad woman. Uh, we're going to get to that in a minute, and I'm going to tell you why she's really bad. Uh, you know, her and her husband, um, they're known opportunists, okay? Let's just put it that way. Um, her husband is Tanner Slot. Uh, Kenneth Slot is a, his dad. Her uh, uh, Tanner and her, his wife, were saying such crazy things about his father online, on Twitter of all places, and social media, other like uh, Instagram. Uh, her, his own father had to sue them, and he won. He won the lawsuit, okay, defamation suit against his own son and his daughter-in-law. He had to. He had no choice. Crazy, There's a lot of that's on my website. Go check it out. Matter of fact, the website, uh, uh, Ariane Bellamar website, had to be turned over to him because she's not allowed to make any money. He sued for $2 million and won, okay? Crazy, man. So this woman tweets a tweet, and I'm not going to go through the long backstory of this, but she tweeted a tweet, we all know that, to uh, several outlets saying Jeremy Piven grabbed her in a trailer, okay, was uh, uh, inappropriate with her sexually in a trailer. Everybody remembers that, right? So, you know, he uh, forcibly fondled her was another tweet, you know. And here's the thing, guys. Uh, you know, Fox picked up on it, and they, no fact-checking, didn't check this woman out, nothing. They just ran with it. Unfortunately for Jeremy, he just, it fell at the, at the time, uh, you know, and she's smart. She's pretty smart in this sense, okay, she saw the opportunity to come out when uh, the Harvey Weinstein, the, 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 the uh, Kevin uh, Spacey, I mean, all that was happening, and then she came out with it, right? But the only problem is it's all lies. Here's why, and this is why I wanted to come to you and explain to you why it's all lies, because tweeting about it, writing about it, I, I don't know, for some reason I think if I can at least tell you and I can sh and, and show you, like here, here's, her, here's her tweet, here it is. She was on camera. She said, don't try to deny it. HBO has us on camera. She does the emoji. You see the little emoji? Has us on camera together. That's the key words here. Has us on camera together. Now, I've done a lot of research. I've called a lot of people. This woman has never, ever been on camera with Jeremy Piven. Ever. Never. It never happened, folks. Now... And then she goes in further. A couple other interviews, she was in, on camera with Hugh Hefner. That never happened. She goes, there's a couple other interviews, uh, and a couple other articles says she is a Playboy model. Folks, she is not a Playboy model. I've already confirmed that. She's never been a Playmate, that's for sure. Then she cleaned it up one time on another interview and said, no, she was a Playmate bunny. Okay. Maybe she was a Playmate bunny. I doubt that. I've already been in contact with Playboy, and they're trying to research that now. Now, remember, she just said that they were on camera together, okay? And here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Listen to me carefully. I reached out to HBO a couple of days ago, okay? I asked them, um, have they ever seen... Uh, 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 has this woman ever been in an entourage? And they came back and told me, uh, we don't know. 
you don't know she's been in Entourage? Okay. Well, was Entourage ever filmed at the Playboy Mansion? Now, I already knew it's been filmed at the Playboy Mansion, but I wanted to see what they would say. They said, well, nah, not that I can remember. And I'll go back and forth. I went as far as sending the email to HBO after the phone call, and I CC'd Playboy Mansion on it. Okay? There's the email. So, um, that that doesn't come, no, nobody comes back with anything. I finally get a call from HBO. They said, look, we're, we're looking into it. Uh, we'll let you know via email tomorrow. Uh, th th that was yesterday. So yesterday on 12-6, uh, this article, I mean this, I'm sorry, this interview came out with the article. Okay. And listen. She's a former Playboy model. Okay, there we go again film. with and the uh, Playboy model. She's not a Playboy model. She's had a series and of listen, and all those like uh, credits on her IMDb page, 90% uh, of them are bullshit. All right. She also said she starred in, or uh, had a part in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 3. And she said she was on a TV show with Pauly Shore. She was not <laughs> in, in Pirates of the Caribbean 3. And, uh, as far as I can tell, she was not on anything TV with Pauly Shore. Now, this is really important. I want you to look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen here. It says, Credit HBO Enterprises, right? This is the footage I sent them. I circled the image. I asked HBO, is this her? So what happened was, and, and, and this is even getting crazier. What happened was, is uh, HBO contacted CBS, told CBS what I was up to. I was going to expose her and say that she's never been in a scene or anything to do with Jeremy Piven. Uh, you notice the, uh, the, uh, the news outlet here in Canada did not put that tweet that she tweeted. Oh, don't try to deny it, Mr. Uh, HBO has us on camera together. They were never on camera together. HBO sees I'm on top of it. I CC Playboy on it, okay? They call CBS. CBS calls their CBS affiliate in uh, Canada. Say, hey, we got to clean this up right now. Right now. They go out to her house and do an interview. Trust me. She never lets anybody go to her house and do an interview. This was important. So important that she tweeted about it right after the interview this morning. It was so important she tweeted about it after she interviewed with Canada, okay? The CBS affiliate that HBO called and said, set this up. My interview with Global News, CBS's affiliate in Canada, and listen, read what she says right there. Come on. Big, bold letters. Clearly shows me on set with Jeremy Piven. HBO, okay? Uh, blantly calls out Piven, refusing, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so listen, this is very significant, people. The uh, uh, Now, all of a sudden, nobody's putting the, tw the tweet out that they were on camera together. HBO wants this cleaned up. They call CBS. CBS gets them to go interview her, okay? And she tweets this. I was the only person in the world that was even questioning if she was in Entourage or not. How, you call that a coincidence? Really? Come on, people. Uh, she's always, she also says she's Mensa. Uh, I've talked to the Mensa people. They have no record of her ever being associated with Mensa. I mean, they, they said, no, Tom, we send out a card all the time. They're like every year they get a card. Look, she also told me in one of the tweets, well, I, you know, I like the Dallas Cowboys and I temp for them and dance for them back in the day. I guess... Apparently, she didn't realize how close I am to the Dallas Cowboys. Um, folks, guess what? There's no record of her ever doing anything with the Dallas Cowboys. This woman is gone, man. She is crazy. And for you people out there in Twitter land to keep following her, retweeting her stuff. Here's the thing. This started out to be about Jeremy. And I know he's innocent. Okay. I, I, people are, oh, my God, he's not innocent. Nobody's innocent. Well, in this situation, he is. He is the victim. But it's taking on a higher purpose for me. You know, I want to find this woman, okay, so I can help these kids get in a better environment. And you should, too. You should be, you should, as a human being, 
you know, it, you should be somewhat obligated to helping children. I mean, it's just, if you go to my website, you see that's all I'm about because I grew up in the boys' home. I grew up in foster homes. I grew up in, in an orphanage. And, you know, I'm all about trying to help kids, you know, because, <laughs> I mean, God knows I've lived a, a crazy, wild, selfish life for a long time. And everybody kind of knows my backstory now. I was, uh, I was accused, like Jeremy, 12 years ago. And uh, I was completely innocent, 100%. And now it wasn't at the level of Jeremy in exposure, but, you know, I was, uh, I was uh, looked down upon my peers in my industry. And, man, I can't tell you how, how hard that was for me to go through that. I mean, you know, there's lie after lie after lie. I, got, I was exonerated of all charges, by the way, just in case you were wondering, because it never happened. But it took me a long time to, to get that back. To get, and I can't get back the time I lost, but, you know, it, it, I, I lost everything in the process. And people looked at me like I was some kind of sexual deviant and pervert, like for a long time. You know, and it wasn't, it wasn't easy, man. I mean, to go through what, what these, what, if somebody gets falsely accused of something, you just don't know what's going through their mind. It's the ridicule every day that I had to put up with, and especially from, now I was with the woman, the woman that actually said that I did these things. Like, like that's even worse. And we, and we had a child. Oh my God. I get, I start thinking about that. It drives me, it drives me crazy. So that's kind of like part of my higher purpose too and, and, and my plight I guess in, in life is you know when somebody's wrongfully accused I, I, I go help them out if I can I'll look at the case and say well yeah or I'll say no this guy's an asshole he needs to go to jail <laughs> you know I, I get it so I'm telling you let's go I don't mean to make that about me I just wanted to tell you just give you a little background if you didn't know so go back to this woman she's insane okay she wasn't on the set of I don't think she was on the set if she was on the set of entourage I'd be very quite surprised but if she was, she might have been in a scene like in the back of a room somewhere. Nothing. She was not on a scene with Jeremy Piven like she says. She was not on camera with Jeremy Piven. She was not on camera with Howard, with Howard Hughes. So, sorry, Mr. Hafner. <laughs> Don't mean to compare you to Howard Hughes. To, uh, to you. To Hef. She was not on a scene. She was not. Polly Shore, I'm not sure about. Pirates of the Caribbean, she wasn't in. Mensa, she never was. So, I mean, like, one lie after lie. And look at all this other stuff, man. Mainstream media is not talking about They don't want to talk about this. They don't want to talk about how women are lying to try to get money from Jeremy Piven. It's never going to happen. Trust me, I've gone, like, mad trying to get somebody to at least talk about this and help me investigate it. Like, who am I? I'm a sports guy that's connected to the Dallas Cowboys for horsepower for my little show that... Probably nobody ever really watches, okay? <laughs> Look, you want to Twitter convict somebody? Go right ahead. Twitter convict all you want. Stop Twitter convicting Jeremy because, like, really, he is the victim. I know you don't want to hear it. Here it come, Here they come. Here they come, okay? But you, in this case, in this case alone, I'm not saying anybody else's. Well, actually, there's two victims. But Kevin, drama. You got to save drama. Help me save drama. Kevin Dillon don't belong. She's put Kevin, Kevin witnessed the culture on the set of Entourage. This the culture, she said. If she was there at all, she was there for 30 seconds in a scene. Maybe she was there for, if she was in that scene for 30 seconds, she might have been there a couple hours. I mean, you know, it's, it, it, extras, they, I mean, I'm not discounting extra. Everybody has to start somewhere, right? But extra gets paid 50 bucks and then they move on with life. All right? Find this woman, your, uh, your privacy, and I'm going to hold high standards around that. Your identity will not be revealed. I just need, personally, now it's a personal thing for me. I want to find these children and get them in a better environment, okay? All right, that's it. I promise that's it. I promise you. That's it. No more. <laughs> yeah, these people are going to be sick of me. They're probably sick of me now. Who? Yeah, no, here, I could, here, have a, here, have a Christmas present.